In this video, we have a graph of a polynomial shown from negative 7 to 7 and negative 4 to 15, and we want to answer true or false to each question. So, one factor of p of x is x plus 5. Well, if x plus 5 is a factor of a polynomial, that means negative 5 would be a 0. So we see that happens right here, because, because in order to get negative 5 as a 0, x plus 5 must be a factor. So that has to be true because that means negative 5 makes the polynomial 0. There's a double root at zero, x equals 0. Now a double root means, or repeated an even number of times, means it hits the x-axis and bounces off. Now at 0, it does not hit the x-axis. So this has to be false. Now there are a couple double roots. There's a double root at negative 2, and there's a double root at positive 2, because notice it hits and bounces off, hits and bounces off. So that's how we would identify it if it is one. p of x equals p of negative x. Now that is implying that we have an even function. Even functions are symmetric about the y-axis. In other words, if you flipped it over the y-axis, it'd look exactly the same. Well, notice this is a mirror image of this, so we have an even function, so that has to be true. p of 0 equals 0. That means if the input is 0, the output is 0. That means it would have to go through the origin, which this graph does not, so it's false. The highest power of p of x could be 4. We could actually build a basic polynomial for this, because we can see we have a factor at x of x plus 5. x plus 2, we said, had to be repeated twice, or the minus 2 x minus 2, also repeated to twice, and then finally x minus 5. So, we only have four factors, but two of them have to be repeated because it didn't go through. So the minimum degree we could have is 1, 3, 5, 6. So the min degree is 6. So there's no way this could be a fourth degree polynomial. It has to be higher. The coefficient of the leading term is negative. Well, we can see that we have a polynomial of even degree. We can tell because both ends go the same direction. Now they both go down as far as their end behavior. That means we must have a negative uh, lead coefficient because otherwise they would both go up if we had an even degree and it was positive. So the coefficient of the leading term must be negative because they both go down p of x is an odd function. This means p of negative x equals negative p of x. All right, well, it's possible for a function to be both even and odd, so we already know it's even, has to be false. But even if we didn't know that, an even function means basically we have symmetry with respect to the origin, so we flipped it over the both the y and the x-axis, it would look exactly the same. Well, there's nothing down here to match this, so there's no way it can be odd.